Hi, this is a tutorial on how to make a slider, uh, 128 sprites for a slider for a UI. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is get the multiply plugin. So we can go to manage plugins and find that by searching for multiply and install that. And that'll install quickly and then go to your Figma file. And let's start by creating the slider bar. So I'm going to draw a simple rectangle and make sure my width isn't too big. So right now it's a thousand by a hundred. I'm going to set it. Uh, to something like 500 by 100 and I want it to be a little narrow more narrow so let's do 500 by 80 perfect and we're now going to draw our circle for the slider dot so I'm holding shift and alt and dragging with my circle tool to make a perfect circle and I'll choose a blue color for it now I'm gonna hit control and left square bracket just to put that layer below the rectangle and then use the guides to make sure this is centered and slide it over just right before the rectangle starts to cut out from the circle and then use control um, right hand square bracket to bring the layer back up. Now there's one other thing I want to add and that is a slice. This will help us export each frame of the slider into its own file. So the slice tool is under the frame tool. If you click this drop down, you can find it or hit S. And we're going to drag it out over our slider and then simply click and drag to center it using the guides as well. And I'm just going to find both center points right there. Now we need this 128 times and with our circles to slowly move across the slider. So what we can do to do that is start by duplicating using the multiply tool. So I'm going to select my circle and go to plugins and find multiply. And I'm going to choose to duplicate it 128 times uh, with a row gap of let's say 200. We can click multiply and see that our sliders appear like that, our slider dots. You know what, I'm even gonna make that gap a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back to multiply and set this to 300. So now we have all our ellipses and there should be 128 here. Um, so now we need to duplicate the bar as well. So I'm gonna do that by clicking on the bar going to plugins and multiply. But this time I'm actually only gonna do 64 rows. And this is because we're gonna to need to fix the alignment of these so they're centered with each dot. And Figma's alignment tools tend to not work when you have more than 64 items in this case. So we're gonna choose multiply. And as you can see, they're not really lined up even though they had the same row gap. So what we're gonna do is use Figma's handy little pink uh, width slider here to drag down our rectangles until it aligns perfectly just like that I think maybe one more oh, right there and now as you can see they're all aligned perfectly to the circles uh, but we only made 64 of them so we're going to duplicate them again so come down here and you can even hit Control D to duplicate and then we're going to want to move these down so I'm holding shift and just dragging the selection down the screen oh, there we go just come back up a bit, still holding shift here. And then right there we get aligned and they kind of snap into place. Now we just need to duplicate that slice that we made. So we'll go back up to the top. And you'll notice one thing we need to do first is make sure that these bars appear below the dot. Uh, so in my layers panel, all my rectangles are next to each other in the panel. So I can simply select all of them by holding shift and then hit control left square bracket um, to make sure those appear down below the ellipses. And if that's not doing it, I need to perhaps fix something. There we go. Just got to keep going down. No, oh, control shift square bracket puts it below everything. There we go. Cool. So now those are above the bar and we can duplicate our slices. So we got to find our slice. It's right here. Move this to the top. And now I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go plugins, multiply, 64 again. And then once more, we'll do this little move tool. And there we go. They're all nicely aligned. And you want to make sure that they stay aligned as you scroll down. Should be good there. Perfect. And then we'll have to duplicate them one more time. So we'll just uh, alt drag, alt shift drag them down. And then I'm gonna zoom out a bit here and just do a shift to drag all the way down. And then we'll bring them back up right 
width here. 191, perfect. And there we go. So now you'll notice that the dot is in the same position. So how do we fix that? Well, let's go into our layers panel and find our ellipses. So there we go here, Ooh. ellipse. And we'll go down to the bottom and select the last ellipse. And you'll notice they're all selected now. And so all we need to do to make these gradually move across the bar is center these within the bar and then move our mouse to the corner here until the rotate tool appears. And then just simply move our mouse to the left right up until we don't see the corners of the bar on one side. And we've got to keep going, I think. Well, that should be perfect. So now we can deselect and scroll down and you'll see our dot is slowly moving across. Sort of looks like an animation when I scroll like that. And as you can see, the last one finishes off right at the end. So now if we want to export these, all we have to do is go into the layers panel and we can start grouping some stuff. So if you want to group all your uh, dots, you can do that, uh, but there's really no need to. Uh, what we really want to do is select all of our slices. So I'm going at the top here and then going all the way down to our last slice, holding shift and clicking. We've now selected all of them. Now on the right hand panel, we can click plus next to export and it'll say export 128 layers. You can even view a preview. Uh, it might be a little slow to load because there's so many, I don't think it'll give us a preview, but you can choose your scale of output. Um, so one X is probably a good size for this. And we can click export layers. Now Figma will load up the exports a little bit and I'm just gonna save them in this folder called slider. Now, if we open up our slider folder, which I will do right now. We can see that the sliders have now been exported into specific different files and we can view each one and we can go through and see that the slider nicely moves along, um, moves along the progress bar. So hope that was helpful. Hope you learned some cool tools and thanks.